Why can't I get this open? I love loose hail. Ooh, why did I make that noise? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup tutorial slash review. Um, so I'm going to be doing my makeup inspired by the new show, Katie Keen, um, and how she does her makeup in the show. And then I'm also going to talk about the show, what I like, what I don't, well, what I like. <laughs> um, and yeah, just go through it. I've seen two, there's two episodes so far. Um, the next one comes out on Thursday, I think. Um, so I'm going to try and like keep it up every week or every two weeks if there's not that much to talk about like doing these little review like chit chat things about it um because i just love to see people's opinions with her makeup it's very glowy it's very natural um it's there's not a lot of like really intense bronzer or contouring or blush or highlight or anything like that it's all very subtle um and then she's got obviously the bold red lip and the um just kind of like smudged out um brown liner on the top um and that's kind of it so that's what we're gonna do today just something super easy um but it still looks really nice so we're gonna get straight into that so first i'm gonna use this makeup well revolution skincare hyaluronic two percent oh my god let's just start again revolution skincare two percent hyaluronic acid um solution i think it's called i love how red my skin gets when i literally just touch it like it's not even nothing's even happening but it's just like whoa stop that so the primer i'm going to use is the ColourPop pretty fresh hydrating hyaluronic acid primer the foundation i'm going to use today is the revolution literally all the writing has worn off uh, but it's the revolution fast base stick foundation in f1 um just because i find with this stick foundation i can really like build up the coverage the way i like to apply this is with a sponge but i don't like to put it on my face first i like to put it on the sponge and then on to my face yeah so yeah there's been two episodes so far um i'm just gonna cut to it i absolutely love it like just straight up i am in love with it i well I love Lucy Hale. I love, I love her. Like, I just, I just love her. I think she's so talented. I love her acting. I love her music. She does just, she's just, like, one of my, like, top idols. Like, celebrities that I just love and I look up to and that just inspire me. I just think, she's just up there. I just love her. I first saw her in Prettiest Liars. Um, and then I, like, from there, I think I've seen everything that she's done, pretty much. Um, so, when I found out that she was going to be Katie Keen, I was so excited. I genuinely think she is such a good choice for the role, not just because, like, I love her, but I just think that it is just so well-fitting. Um, I think they just really did a really good job with the casting there because she just I don't know I can't even explain it like when you watch it it just feels so genuine and feels so real and she just plays her so well like it's just so authentic you're like how could anyone else have played her I don't know but honestly the casting all round is really really good um I feel like everyone suits their character everyone just really just plays them so well and they're so believable and they really make you connect with the character and i think yeah i just think all the actors are really really amazing so the concealer i'm going to use is the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer hyaluronic creamy concealer um and it is in the shade fair 10n i was really excited to watch katie keen anyway because i do watch riverdale um So when they're like, oh, you know, there's going to be a spin-off. There's going to be, well, there's going to be another spin-off because obviously there's Sabrina. Because I already watch Riverdale and I know, like, the writers and the team, like, CW, I really enjoy their shows anyway. Um, and then when it was like, oh, it's going to be um, all based on, like, fashion and New York. Oh, my God. When my voice does that. Like, it's all about fashion and New York. I was like, you've sold me. You've absolutely sold me. Um, it's really... It's just a really nice change, I think, um, 
from that kind of darker theme that Riverdale and Sabrina have. Um, it's just completely, just completely different and I absolutely love it. It is such, um, like feel good television. Like it's just an hour of like, obviously there's still the ups and downs of it because it's, it's a, like supposed to be a teen or young adult drama. But when you watch it, like it's just so feel good. Everything is just so like positive and uplifting and it's just really, really fun. Like watching it is just, I love it um it's really i don't know it just puts you in one of those moods where you're like yeah yeah i can do anything sure i'll do it in like a creative mood it's just so much fun and really really enjoyable to watch and yeah it's just i think it's just the perfect thing to round out that little trio of shows because you get that kind of fantasy element with sabrina and then like the teen drama crime element with Riverdale and then this is just so completely different and it's just so good like it's just so good so I'm gonna do just like a tiny bit of um bronzer contour to just to warm up the face a little bit and I'm gonna use this shade up here and then I'm gonna go in with a tiny tiny bit of this pink blush just like on the very like very tops of the cheeks no blush on the nose or anything like I usually do Ooh. Another thing that I'm really enjoying is how like genuine and real the show feels. It's still got that like fun escape from reality feel when you watch it and you know that whole like wow like the wonders of New York and chasing your dream feel but it doesn't I don't know how to explain it it's still got those really raw like emotional parts of it which I really enjoy that they're not just like that it's not just like oh everyone's got their dream everyone's doing great you know like when K.O. proposed and she wasn't sure and like that kind of stuff is like real life stuff like she's not ready to get married yet but she still loves him but she doesn't want to upset him and then like Jorge with his auditioning and all that stuff like people go through that every day and I just I really love that like battle between like the dream and like the reality and like Josie with her singing like uh, went in the first episode I was like oh of course she just met a music producer like in the park but then you meet his sister and it's like oh well it's actually not that easy and I just love it like I love that Just that realism and that like just life isn't that easy i just i don't know that's how i feel like that sounds kind of like depressing but i actually really really enjoy it it really makes you invest in the characters because i'm all like in it now like i want katie to design her own clothes and i want jorge to get his job on broadway and i want joc to get a record deal you know like it really their little like friendship as well, like the chemistry between the cast and just their little group. I just think it's so well done and it really just makes you like invest in all of them and like really like their characters. Honestly, there's not really a character that I don't like yet. Um, like even Zandra, who is obviously supposed to be the villain. I still think she's an absolute queen. <laughs> um i love the stripe in her hair i love that they kept that from the comics i just honestly everything about it is so good um i love the aesthetic of the show i love the vibe everyone wears such good outfit it's just why can't i get this open so for highlight i'm using the elf baked highlighter in moonlight pearls just because i want that like just that more of a sheen rather than um like probably like blinding highlight you know i'm just going to take this fluffy brush from essence and i'm just going to go all over this the kathleen um the kathleen like signs of astrology or rise rise of astrology no it's like her astrology one where she chose all the shades um but out of like existing ColourPop shades rather than like her Sodio de Palette and stuff. Um, 
and it's honestly just for a second just like the packaging it's so freaking cute anyway um so i'm gonna use this um one here just like i said they don't have names um but this like creamy one here all over my lid and then i'm gonna use this like subtle brown just gently literally just tapping it in um just in the crease a little bit um and then i'm gonna use this like mix these warm and these two dark warm and cool browns um to just like gently line and then i'm gonna smudge it out a little bit and then i'm gonna put this one again that subtle brown just under the lash line just a tiny bit so that's what we're doing welcome in terms of characters at the moment i really do i really do just like everyone um but my personal faves are katie um probably josie um i always liked her character in riverdale and i never felt that she really got any proper like character development i always felt like she deserved more screen time and i always loved her scenes especially her scenes with kevin like when all that was going down um i just always really loved josie's character and i always wanted her to be in it more um so yeah i'm really enjoying getting to see her character more um and her cute little references to riverdale i love jorge as well in terms of um the like couples i do like katie and ko josie's like little music producer love interest man I like him. I'm worried he's going to turn out to be dodgy, but I hope not. I don't think so, but I'm 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 unsure. Dee Dee was it or something? The lady that worked at the um, hotel that took me off guard. I was like, oh, Pepper's got a love interest. How cute is this? Like, which totally adds to her drama of like literally being broken and living alone. But I thought that was super cute. I'm also just honestly loving like the diversity and just the range of characters like the variety of people that they've got in the show we've got different sexualities different races different ages different just everything different dreams different career paths different i just love it i love that there's such a variety of characters and stories i just feel like there's kind of someone for everyone to like gravitate to I'm gonna edit this and be like, bloody hell, why aren't you speaking? This eye is definitely more of what I was going for. I've gone too heavy on this eye, which now means I've got to go heavier on the other one, which is not really what I wanted to do. I'm just going to take that light brown shade that I took on my. Oh my god, I'm literally holding the mirror like this. Um, In the crease, and I'm just going to smudge out that brown a little bit. I'm just gonna take that same elf highlighter and I'm gonna do my brow bone and the inner corner and the tip of my nose and all that fun stuff. And then all that's left is mascara and the red lip and we are done. It's only two episodes in and I'm like, oh my god, I really hope they get renewed for a second season because I... I just love it like I'm literally already so invested in all their characters and yeah I just think it's so much fun it's just like real I was kind of like really looking for a new teen young adult or whatever you want to call it show like I've been trying to fill that void since Brittle Lies left me um I like Gossip Girl and 90210 and all that and Riverdale does that. Like, Riverdale is still good, and I still like it. I like all the characters and stuff. But this just has a completely different vibe, and it's so... just feels like something I've really genuinely never seen before, and I really like that. The red lip I'm going to use is the Kathleen Lights Twinkling Lights Collection 1. I don't know if you can still buy it. It's called Lucky Star. It's a matte liquid lip from... Oh, no, it's an ultra satin lip. My mistake. Um, ultra satin lip from Colourpop. Um, yeah, it was from the Twinkling Lights collection. It's really beautiful red. Um, just like a proper true cool toned red. Um, but it's called Lucky Star. So I don't know if maybe it's still on the website, but just not 
in this packaging anymore. I'm literally just about to eat lunch as well. What am I doing? I'm putting on a friend like in the middle of the day. So this is the final makeup. If she does anything a bit more like fun or adventurous, then maybe I'll recreate that as well. Um, but I actually really like this look, just like the glowy skin, um, the bold lip and like the more natural but still nice eye. That's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about Katie Keen in the comments. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, yeah. I'm really interested to know what people are thinking about it because I genuinely do love it. And if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely go and watch it. I'm going to try and like, like I said, keep up with the Katie Keen reviews. But yeah, I might just like do, maybe I'll do one a week or maybe I'll group them and do like two. 